Hi guys, Edward Rooks here. I'm in California. I'm on the El Consulu in Moss Landing, California, kayaking with my wife, who has very generously offered <laughs> to paddle for us today. And we're going to paddle around the slough and, and look at animals and people on kayaks. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you so much. Oh, so cool. He's arching his back, okay? He's arching his back and he's taking in the sun. It's a harbor seal. He's just cooling it or warming it. <laughs> I hope he doesn't climb up on your kayak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. That, that's a beautiful run shot. Before. They'd run away before that. Oh, happened. it's so clear. The birds are so busy. There must be something running around under there. Yeah, swimming around. Yeah, there's... There's fish, there's one fishing right there behind the seal. And they, they come up and dive and they just dip their heads in and bring up a pouch full of fish. There's lots of fish in here and there's lots of clams. And because of all of that food, there is a lot of life like these seals and sea otters. So we hope to show you some of that today. You're off to a good start. <laughs> They say so. Yeah, we'll hopefully have a good signal all the way. Okay, camera's gone, wacko. We can look at the moon. All right. Yeah, I was just about to. So we're going to paddle up towards a rock wall right there ahead of us. And that rock is entrance to this harbor at the mouth of this river. And it uh, was built to protect the harbor from rough weather and so forth. And so there's a fishing fleet just beyond it. But the fishing fleet is now defunct, and uh, not defunct, but not, not as, as busy. They, have, they do some crabbing and fishing and stuff. Um, and the whales are, are just offshore here, get trapped in their nets and lines and ropes and stuff. But there's also uh, Monterey Bay has a wonderful sea aquarium, the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Oh, and it sure is. Have you been? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. They have deep sea exhibits. They have, yeah, they have um, exhibits Tiger. of, uh, what's it? Oh, yeah, there's some the birds tide. right here. Tide pools, yeah. And um, I was going to say sea jellies. Oh, Oops, the sorry. jellies are amazing. Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> so they have all sorts of wonderful exhibits there. And a lot of them uh, exhibits are supported by some of the research that they do, including deep sea research. They have submersibles that go right offshore here, a mile out. It's a mile deep. There's a big canyon here, like, like, like a Grand Canyon just offshore. And that brings up all sorts of good cool water that feeds whales with and anchovies and porpoises. So there's a lot of sea life right offshore right here as well. And okay, we're gonna bear away from the boat channel because it can be quite rough and when the tide is changing, the currents can get very strong. But that's the channel right there. And you can see that boat that was honking its horn at us going out. Going out to sea. What that are you? That aquarium would be a great event for us if you want to do that. Oh yeah, well it's very expensive. Yes. <laughs> Just help me with that entrance fee. <laughs> um. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. So we're coming upon. Uh, that's the power plant for Moss Landing. And I'm going to try to get. I'm getting my act together. Kayak underneath the restaurant, kayaking under the pier. <laughs> if 
we're coming up on Highway 1, which is a coastal highway that leads from San Francisco. Oh, actually, it leads all the way down the coast of California, north to south. But it goes from San Francisco to LA. So it's a very long highway, and it's crossing right here. So the bridge is blocking the slough, sort of, and we're going to go kayak under the bridge and under the highway. It's going to get a little noisy. Yeah. So Janice was saying that um, hopefully we'll be able to keep connectivity going under. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Well, these folks actually need it. They can't get a run on their own. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your signal's perfect now, Edward. Oh, that's fantastic because we're entering blue. Once we go under the bridge of on, we... so much for that. I put a hex on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think once he gets past the bridge, it'll be good. Yep. The water is so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I could just float. This is, mm -hmm. I could just float. Can you touch if you reach your arm up? Can you touch? <laughs> there are a lot of barnacles there. I'm trying not to touch. Oh, got it. Give you a gash. Oh, and so, God. where are we now? It's still so we're now entering the river channel for Elkhorn um, Slough. A slough oh, is really a river, a river that's been flooded by the tide. So when it's high tide, this place um, rises, the water rises all the way up to the edges here, up above into the marshes on top of that little ledge there. Oh, and nice. Those marsh plants up there. And so it's a very special habitat. It's accustomed to flooding by salt water. Jellyfish? Yeah, five eggs. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, we'll go look for them. Thanks. So there's a, a fried egg jellyfish. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see if we can find it. You had a little bit of a name. Well, they must be big enough for her to say that. We're going to see if we can find them. But, um, she just had it straight out there, which is not very <laughs> Yeah, specific. it's rather generic. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. So anyhow, the power plant was situated on the slough to take water from the slough and pump it back in after they've heated it up because they're cooling the, their machines with it. But they actually switched. There it is. Oh, no. Is that it? Yeah, yeah that's it. And you oh, see the jelly score. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sunny side like... up or over easy? <laughs> it kind of looks like a breast implant. <laughs> it's not a very attractive egg. I'm not eating that. <laughs> it's, a it's a scrambled egg. <laughs> a jellyfish. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're going to forget about the jellyfish and go look for sea otters. Oh, so, sea otters were on the brink of extinction, over harvesting, over hunting. What? And so they still are, and they have been protected, you know, for the last several decades, and the numbers are coming back, but they have ups and downs with, you know, disease or whatever. And so this, the numbers are pretty good now. And in this Elkhorn Slough, they're protected as the habitat has been protected. A lot of the habitat around here was also threatened with extinction for development. They were gonna develop the entire slough area. And it's been protected now, so we're very lucky. And the sea otters have come back to the slough and have living in here now and pupping in here. And there's a big raft of about, I don't know, how many do you think, Janice? Five or six of them here, anyway. Let me see. There's the building. Oh uh, my God. There are the sea otters just laying oh on their back. Oh, they're rafting. Yeah. That is they're cool. rafting. 
and they will dive down, grab clams, grab crabs, and then put them on their chests and beat them with a rock. <laughs> yeah, they have a little little thing in their armpit where they can carry their rocks. A rock pouch, a pocket. A rock yeah. pocket. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they do. They have a rock pocket. David I mean, is favorite. David is wondering how many types of jellyfish are there in the area. Well, I will refer to the je to, to the biologist who says she doesn't know, but we know they're moon jellies, they're nettles. There's, of course, we saw the fried egg, and there's all sorts. A huge variety of jellies here. That thing was called a fried egg. A fried egg <laughs> jellyfish. Yes. Okay. That makes all the sense now. <laughs> That's really fun. So I have a side note here. Uh, the, Monterey, the Monterey Bay Aquarium admission is $50 for an adult. Yes. Can you imagine so if we all pitch in $10, <laughs> we can get well, you in. We'll, well make we, it. We, have to do it at some point we'll figure the it out other later. question is whether they would permit you know they have um have, mm, they have right. the past friends that, you know if, if you have a friend who has a membership they get uh extra membership uh entrance tickets for their friends yeah that are, they can then give over so hopefully we'll find somebody who can help. Oh, that that's way. the that's the viewing platform I've been to. Ah, I've never been on that. I see there's some bird watchers out there or somebody out there. They got a telescope and everything. And they're looking in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> there must be for, over there. At the marsh. So the marsh is full of egrets and herons and hawks and and maybe hopefully rails, all sorts of wonderful birds up there. You know, so it just looks like some grass on top of the dirt, but it's um, it's key habitat. Okay, so we were talking about this the sea otters too, and talking about key. Uh, otters are key to this habitat. They, on reintroduction, have changed this habitat, and I'm going to ask Janice to clarify that a little bit for me, but it has to do with seagrass. Yeah, they, uh, so without the sea otters, can you hear me? Oh, I don't know. I can read. Can you hear Janice at all? Yes. yes. Oh, without the sea otters, there were these little creatures that ended up really hurting the seagrass or the surf grass, which we're getting some of it floating by us here. Oh, oh. Um, forms nurseries for all the fish that everybody likes to catch out in the ocean. And so the crabs uh, are eating these little arthropods that keep the surf grass clean. But when the crabs became too common, the surf grass ended up being covered with algae and it just stifled their growth and everything collapsed. But once the sea otters were reintroduced, they love crabs. So they're eating the crabs and then the little uh, arthropods came back and, and grazed the algae off of the surf grass and the surf grass is thriving now. So it's this, what we call an ecological cascade, right. you know, where you, you know, the top predator affects another predator, the crab, which then affects these grazers, yeah. affects the plant. And there was a biologist at UC Santa Cruz that, that discovered that and it really hit the news, you know, how important the sea otter was for Elkhorn Slough, it was already known to be really important in the ocean where they graze on the sea urchins right. and help. Yeah, and so the giant kelp in the ocean does really well with the sea otters. But Elkhorn Slough definitely has come back as a more vibrant habitat now because of the sea otters. And the sea otters love to be in here because the sharks don't come in and, and try to eat them. So they tend to come in here to sleep and, ha and they have their babies in here. So it's a uh, really important habitat. Okay, your turn. We almost lost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Isn't she great? Yep. <laughs> so right in front of that kayak there, there's a sea otter. That's yep. not Can't finish. So. Do, uh, let me get my glasses. Get, 
do they get bothered by all the kayakers? You know, they they grew up with these kayakers, so they're not bothered by them. There's a problem with some of them in that they were uh, brought here, rescued animals by the Monterey Bay Aquarium. And so they uh, were so accustomed to people and friendly to people that they frightened people. <laughs> they approached people. Oh, dear. Yeah, so let me see. Zoom. Oh, no, yeah, people, the... It's hard unless you're you know, up close to them to realize how big they are. The males. Uh, stop, they... stop video, start video, and it will then oh. zoom. Yes. Okay. Yes. I did it. There we Thank go. You, Whoa. It's going down. Oh, no. It's just grooming. So, sea otters were killed out for their fur. There was a fur trade to make hats and things like that. And their fur is very soft, but not just that, very, very um, dense. It's one of the most densely packed uh, furs of the natural world. So otters were ruthlessly hunted out. And um, they're constantly grooming themselves like this. He's rolling around, cleaning his fur, washing himself. They don't have fat, and the fur is that dense to keep them from getting cold. My son's this grandparents is... used to live on a boat in the harbor, in the, mar the Monterey Marina. And we would see those guys in the, in the marina where the boats are. And once they came up to like the back of the boat where it kind of has that low little shelf. Mm -hmm. And yes. you just came right up to it. Just came up on your boat. It yeah. kind of like a little bit not not like fully but we thought he was like trying to get some sun or something right <laughs> but we didn't yeah. bug him we just stared at him <laughs> it was really uh, cool it is cool well thank goodness it wasn't one of those california sea lions because they can get up to like 800 pounds <laughs> oh yeah uh, <laughs> destroy both. Oh, God. <laughs> That would be funny. <laughs> we saw those at the harbor before we went out whale watching, and they were just sinking boats. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they, do, they do tip the boats, and they can, especially those really big ones. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, Janice spotted um, some more sea otters. Is it? Uh, sea is harbor seals over near the shore over there. So we're going to head over to the shore. So this is just going to be a lazy day on the salute. It's lovely. Thank you so much. This is really oh, lovely. This is really, really special. It's very calming. Like I said, I could just float and watch the water ripple by and be perfectly happy. But this is amazing. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What a fun hobby, sport, whatever you call it. Like what a- It is good exercise and it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, good exercise for Janice, not for me. I'm not gonna get <laughs> You're multitasking. Well, so those are all the others over there. So just to sh tell you um, where we are, oh, look at it <laughs> that little hill in the in the middle, not the blue one, the one in the middle, is dividing the Elkhorn Slough um, watershed from the Watsonville area and the Pajaro River um, watershed, and then the blue mountains in the back are the coastal range. That's the Santa Cruz Mountains, and on the other side is San Jose, where Janice and I came from. All right. You come all this way just for us. You betcha. Oh. We so appreciate it. Really? Oh, what? look at all of them. Oh, oh God, I didn't even notice them. <laughs> they were rocks. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. But uh, another big jelly over here. Oh. Oh, they're so active. Oh, there's yeah. another. Really <laughs> it really <laughs> does look like a fried egg now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we are now on a rising tide. We started a couple hours after low tide. And so the tide is pushing us with the wind, which is an onshore wind, into the slough. And Janice doesn't have to work at all now. <laughs> but when we're going back out, I'll be paddling with us. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're not going to get any closer to those seals over there, but they beach themselves. Nervous. There's some young ones among them. Oh, right in front of you. There comes the pelican. <laughs> and so the oh, seals and the otters, they all get along? Sorry? The seals and the otters get along? I haven't seen any problems with them. They both um, have very different lives. They don't seem to notice each other much. Oh, we yeah. get along with otters. The seagulls will steal their food. Oh, did you hear that? Something yes. about seagulls stealing food from the otters? Yeah, the seagulls. The seagulls what are those? Are, they keep an eye on, on otters, and if an otter has a food and he's bashing it on his rock, they Those big come. suckers are seagulls? Sorry? Yeah, she's are wondering those, about the birds in front of us. Are those pelicans? So these are relatives of pelicans. These are cormorants. Cormorants, yeah. Cormorants? Wow. So they, they eat fish just like the pelicans do, and they even have a little pouch, but it's very small. It's just a, a colored throat, really. And this hey, one is, is. Oh, hello. <laughs> this one's oh, a double. Coming through. Yeah, two of us were too close. Yep, here we go. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> we're backing off. We're backing off. Oh, how funny. They kind of walk like ducks. Well, they do look a lot like ducks, but they are they are not. They have they have a tooth on the end or a nail on the end of their beaks too. And so okay. that they are more predatory. And some ducks are predatory, Magansas are like cormorants. They'll swim underwater chasing fish. They're very good swimmers, very quick swimmers. Yeah, and they dive. They dive underwater. So you see one oh. right ahead. I've seen and that. I I just thought they were pelicans. No, no, they're relatives. Look, like he went under, so he's yeah. under there looking for something to eat. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully we'll see. We have um, brown pelicans, but we also have white pelicans in the area, and hopefully we'll see some. Uh, oh, so Janice picked up that there is a blue heron in the Ooh. marsh. So there's the cormorants. There's a big old bully gull going in amongst the cormorants. And behind the cormorants, over to the right. Oh, there it is. Oh! Oh, he's big. Great blue. Hair. They are big. They're huge. With a spare beak. They oh got a God. spare beak. They'll spare you. Fish. Is that bird bigger than these guys right here? Yes. Yeah. 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 So these, these guys are just about a foot and a half in, in length. And that's a godwit that's right there walking the brown bird, which is shore bird with long legs and a long neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, Janice wants me to show you this. Oh, seagrass? What is that? Kelp? Yeah. Oh, no, it's seagrass. Sea that's the uh, nursery. This is what the sea otters have given us. They have revived this habitat. Clean seagrass. It's so pretty. Uh, and just think of all the little organisms that are living in there. Right. It's oh, the whole neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> 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 Oh, you can't beat that. Oh, my goodness. That was excellent. <laughs> Cue the birds, of... Mr. DeMille. <laughs> <laughs> Reminded me of Finding Nemo. I just heard, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was cool. The 
weather's kind of perfect, isn't it? You know, it's a little too sunny for me. I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know? Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know this one either. So Janice was saying there are not very many powered boats allowed on the slough, but there is one tour group that brings uh, groups in to educate. And this may be that boat. It's a catamaran and it's got seats on top. And it's, they have biologists and guides. Yeah. Maybe you huh. can just squeeze under the bridge. Yeah, it's big, it's big enough to, um, that it can carry you know, 24 people or whatever, and small enough that it's going to fit, and shallow enough that it's not going to beat yourself. Hmm. That's an attractive vessel, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a distinct lack of art. <laughs> Being an artist, I like a little, a little more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so now Janice is worried that we're going to lose signal, but we'll just go until it gets. Keep an eye on it for us, uh, John, and then oh, we you're can all good. Try to stop. No, you're very good. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. So all these tall trees over here on our right, those are eucalyptus trees that were introduced from Australia. Mm -hmm. Very common in California. They were brought in as um, a source of quick growing posts and poles for building. Here they come. Look out. You're going to get bombed. <laughs> Oh, look at that sky. Oh, that one was slow and close. Yep. I guess oh, they are all <laughs> used to the kayakers. That's interesting oh. you say that about yeah. the eucalyptus, because oh. in Hawaii, on the big island, there was a lot of, which we, we learned the history of, but it was um like, a, a, I don't want to say a developer, but just somebody they planted forests of eucalyptus for that reason i realize yeah. now that it just must be a quick strong growing tree and it's yeah. invasive <laughs> it right. is invasive. yeah and it's the same in ecuador well, what what, what what about ecuador it's the same thing in ecuador they introduced forests of uh, eucalyptus in ecuador oh yeah. Where, wherever a volcano destroys the habitat they can ah. plant Eucalyptus instead. Oh. Interesting. And hmm. it's an incredible fire hazard. Oh, it's, they explode. They're full yeah, exactly. of Exactly. Oh, of shit. <laughs> they explode. They literally explode. I'm not, I'm not making that up. They do. Well, that, you know, some of the fires on the Oakland Hills came after they had a freeze and, it, and the eucalypts go dormant for like four or five years or something like that. I don't remember. And is it the oil that's yes. in it? Yes. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Wow. The resin. And it I just... sure do love that tree. <laughs> I love it. All right. But... So we got right next to us another raft. <laughs> like the Titanic. Is... A... Aww. is that a bird hitching a ride? That's his foot. Oh, God. <laughs> Got it. Are you sure? <laughs> How cute. Oh, it's a little flipper. Oh, okay. I see it now. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> this one next to us has a baby. He's looking at Hi. 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 Otters are so freaking cute. 
<laughs> it's <Yeah>. disarming. <laughs> Oh, I think they know it too. <laughs> the wind is moving us. All right, so we're going to zoom back out. So it's, as the tide comes in, this thing gets wider and wider. Water moves out to the edges. And there are, there's a lot of money going into reviving this swamp. The marsh, I should say, sorry. They, uh, further on, about a mile down, they have bulldozed a lot of dirt into the upper edges of the marshes here. And they're trying to, to raise it to a level platform where they can encourage the growth of uh, seagrasses and um, other plants that live in the marshes in this area. And that way they can have a buffer against climate change and sea level rise and all that. Are we facing west? So right now we are. So that's We're like facing. the marine layer dead ahead? That is. That purple layer at the horizon is fall fog. And it's just offshore and it burned off just before we began this program. I love the we fog. So the power plant is a new modern power plant that um, uses natural gas. And it doesn't require the pumping of a lot of water as it used to. So they're much more ecologically uh, conscious. We're just relaxing. Is the water cold or refreshing or warm? It's not cold or anything, but it's cool. It's, it's, it's nice. Actually, it would be nice to get in there right now. <laughs> but I, don't think I was going to say, would you feel like, are you allowed to dunk or is the jellyfish kind of a problem? You know, I don't, I've never seen anybody swimming in this slough, so I don't know what the issues are mm. with um, swimming in the slough. They, the, the shore just behind those dunes where we started is a beach, and that beach goes all the way from Santa Cruz to Monterey. It's like 20 miles, 25 miles long, and it's a beautiful beach, but it's very rough, and the waves break right on shore. And so it's not great swimming either, but it's great fishing. And a lot of people go there to walk on the beach and to fish. Yeah, we ran into people who were tearing out the ice plant, trying to get rid of the invasives. Oh, right. Yeah, we have these glass pickle pickleweed, which is a native version of an ice plant that they can plant back instead of. Right. Yeah. I think ice plant might be from South Africa or Australia. Interesting. Yeah, I think it is South Africa. I always liken it to that and oleander. It makes me think of the highways or the freeways and stuff that you oh, see on yeah. the side. So that's, that, that's a nasty plant. But the oleander, they planted on the freeways for a reason, not just because it's pretty. It's toxic and it discourages the animals from going on the freeway and crossing the freeway. Ah! Ha! <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I wouldn't touch it. It has milky sap that would burn your skin. Yep. Yeah. Alkaloids. Every time I see it, like, in someone's yard, I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Yeah. yeah, we had it growing in front of our apartment. The only thing that eats it is aphids. In Mountain View? Yep. Oh boy. Oh, there's lots of oleander around the bay. And ice plant on the highways. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to head. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead. I was just saying that we, we are heading west and we're heading back towards the Moss Landing Hub. Diving, swimming, and snorkeling are allowed in the Monterey Slough. That's the Monterey Slough. 
Isn't that where we are? We're Elkhorn. Oh, well, just so you know, then. <laughs> I, I don't know that there is a, a Monterey Slough. Where, do, do they say where that is? Because it um, might, they might be referring to this slough. They are. They yeah. are. The internet was like, you dummy. What are you talking about? <laughs> it might be loud, but nobody wants to. <laughs> I was just curious, thought I'd report back that you can't, oh. if you so, so were so inclined. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I, I was wondering yeah. that myself, because I never see anybody swimming in. Yeah. Snorkeling would be cool to see all the down below stuff with a full suit and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little muddy, you know, and it's not clear. The water is not right. clear. So it, it wouldn't be fun to put a mask on and try to swim through it. It'd be you know, just murky. You wouldn't see anything. That's a good point. That's probably why you don't see anybody in there. But it's great for bird watchers, and I come here every yeah. year. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say again? All right, so yeah, Janice was just saying that we don't normally come to Moss Landing to launch our kayak. This pool is, is almost seven miles long, right. and at the, at the back of it, there is another landing called Kirby Road or the Kirby Park landing. And Kirby Park is, it doesn't have as much wind. It doesn't have as much tidal um, current. Are you going with the current? No, they're so going against it now. Going against the current, yeah. So the you tide is going. Right. You want to talk, say hi to people? Oh. <laughs> Well, we, are, we, are, we have an audience in Canada and, and around the world where people that are hospitalized or are not able to get around on their own can just go for a walk or go for a kayak with you, you know, and it's just a, a virtual walk. Virtual photo walks. It's, say so hi. say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Tell your friends about us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we saw a couple of them. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay, oh, that's where you're going. She's all right. You're all right. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, parents and when there it is over here. Yeah, I can see it. Are those seniors over there? Where? Were those seniors in that kayak? No, oh, not, no, no, no. I think they can hear you though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, really. Uh, aren't we all senior? <laughs> I just couldn't it, blame it on the resolution. I couldn't quite tell. I was just going to give them major props for being out and doing that. Thought that was it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> They're probably in their 20s. I'm sorry. <laughs> So they're looking for the jellyfish. Uh, That's why they went, right? Yeah. Kayak rentals have become much more popular since we first started coming here. Back in the 80s, you would hardly ever see a kayak out there. Yeah, they really weren't doing it until the 80s much. It was the same way on the East Coast. Such a wonderful, relaxing way to be mm -hmm. out of the water. Now, are these the kind of kayaks, I don't know why I just thought, thought of this, that you can flip and turn underwater and then flip back up? Have you um, seen people do that little barrel roll? Not with the one we have. The one that we okay. have is an open top, open top sea kayak. The one that they have, maybe, yes. Okay. So you have to have that skirt around your waist and then 
wrapped around a little lip that holds on you on yeah oh like white white water kayaks are, are like that you can bob them yeah. up and down yeah this one has a rudder on the back isn't that cheating no it's helpful okay. yeah <laughs> okay i mean i get that but i've never seen a rudder on a kayak before no they've got one right there no, I know. Okay, we'll side that one. That's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't see it. I'm not looking. <laughs> yeah, and ocean kayaks are dealing with a lot different conditions than river kayaks. Oh, yeah, waves and everything. Oh, boy. Even on lakes, though, it can get, well, John, you know that, windy and rough. Mm. Ever read a book called Starship and the Canoe? No. What's it about? Um, I won't remember the gentleman's name now. It's the son of a major physicist. Um, the starship and the canoe? The starship and the canoe. And the son builds a kayak, lives in a big tree. It's been a lot of years since I read it. No substance but, abuse in that story. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look it up and be able to find the author. I'm looking it up right now. Kenneth okay. Brower? Got it. Kenneth Brower. Okay, but the yeah. question is, who's the? Is it Kenneth he, Brower? I guess George Dyson is the one. George Dyson is the son of the um, physicist. Oh, okay. I think, or well, else the, Dyson is the one. Because I'm looking. If this is the one, it it, it says Kenneth Brower as the author. Yeah. Yep, okay. that's the one. Okay. Well, the only yeah. dice I know yeah. is the dice there. Oh, well, we're getting close to the critters again. Critters. Are those the harbor seals? Yes, the harbor seals and an old dock that used to be here with the pylons. Yeah, it looks like away. ribs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just bought another one of those fried egg jellies. Hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, well, they're not so much in the harbor seal. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said all the seals. All the seals. All the seals. Oh, okay. And those are otters. Yeah, that's the raft. So Janice is going to try to take us back into the harbor, but I don't think she's going to make it. <laughs> The current pretty strong. You're doing a great job, girl. Against the wind. And the bridge, it looks like it's close, but. <laughs> no, it isn't. It probably is. It's the only one that's allowed. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a different safari. This has been absolutely wonderful. This is a different boat from the last safari boat. This is a safari oh. boat. It's not a catamaran. It's more of a pontoon. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a raft with a motor.
So do they have a gas motors or do they have to use electric motors in the slough? I'm not sure. Oh, there they come. Oh. That is amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Once you, once you get to the bridge, we can end it because the signal was not so good on the other side. So now, we'll there's ride. some native, those are some native trees, aren't they? Those aren't eucalypts right there, yeah. are they? Those are like cypress. They are no. cypress, Monterey yeah. cypress. Yeah. We're going to get over there towards them so you get closer. There's the yeah, Okay, so here is the Elkhorn Sluice Safari boat. We another gorgeous vessel. <laughs> it looks so, like a refugee raft or something. <laughs> well, but keep in mind it's getting people in to get to see the stuff who can't do yeah. it otherwise. I'm, oh, I'm, 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 I'm not po knocking it. I'm just <laughs> poking fun at it. <laughs> it it's a fun ride. What's students on it? It's a clear case of discrimination against pontoon boats. <laughs> <laughs> you found me out, John. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? Uh, I missed them. Sorry, I was trying to find some. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He went down. Oh, he went down. Oh, we can hear. Him. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> the old Somebody's man kidding. telling me what to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God! <laughs> hey, okay, you giving up? Yeah, it's nice to see those. There's so there's something about the cypress on the coast that just is. It's Northern California coastline. It's just so spect. I just love that. It's kind of it's kind of primeval. Yeah, mm. I expect to see a big dinosaur among them, <laughs> <laughs> like a pelican. Janice said. There you go. <laughs> Twenty feet high. <laughs> That's highway one. Yeah. I drove that thing from from San Francisco to Los Angeles, and it took a, a roughly fifteen hours. Yeah. I wow. drove it back in 70, 71. That's why everybody takes one one and goes down five or whatever. Yeah, it takes forever, but it's it's an experience for yep. sure. Yeah, you get to go through some beautiful towns, beautiful scenery. And, just and after just going straight from all the time, you know, taking five or 99, like that just gets old fast. Year right. after year, you know. <laughs> Does it ever get real close to that? It doesn't seem like there's a lot of room for it to yeah, swell. This cormorant is eating a fish. Oh, can you see it? Oh, wow. Well. Oh, big hey. Yep. Nature. <laughs> <laughs> he just swallowed. Hey, <laughs> chew your food. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
was trying to get to a seal, but it went down. The bird is a word. Oh, thank you guys. This is great. What fun. We saw so much stuff today. Just relaxing on the slew. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> Uh, next next time it'd be Jenna saying, I'm gonna work the camera. I like that. She loves paddling. Thank you. Yeah. We bird, really appreciate bird, bird it. <laughs> David, you're cracking me up. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at that. And it says, look at the Coca-Cola truck. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see them in the wild very often. <laughs> Over the snow, the Coca-Cola truck comes to you. <laughs> Coca-Cola truck in its natural habitat. <laughs> William says the virtual photo walk dropped his BP quite a bit. Thank you, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Rooks. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. It's you guys are fun. so much fun. Thank you for rowing. <laughs> well, there's something. Is that an eaglet? Uh, yeah. Another cormorant eaglet. But it's sort of getting hidden behind the beach as we get pushed along into the sloop. Oh, yeah. And there's all sorts of wonderful plants, native plants, ice plant. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this grass is an ice plant. Yeah, the dunes are full of ice plants too. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we got a sea otter over here. Uh, he went down. Oh, he was he was beating something on his chest. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to get back out. Zoom out. There you go. That's a great little beach for a picnic. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. There are people in China that keep pet cormorants. I was just thinking about that, the ones that use them for fishing. Yeah, they do. They have a neck, uh, like a collar around their neck. And so they can't swallow them. That's right. And then after and they fish, put a bunch of fish, they will feed them some of the fish. Yep. And it's that same bird? It's not the same species, but it's the same type of bird, yeah. Oh, look at that. And in amongst all this grass, you're gonna find things like sea hares and, and snails, and all sorts of nudibranchs, slugs, sea slugs. And fish. Nudibranchs are cool. <laughs> so Janice says there's some sort of jellyfish around here somewhere. Oh, I see. It's down inside. Well, thank you so very much. Yeah, this is great. Swing it around and everybody give a nice wave goodbye. Deep appreciation for you guys. Thank yep. you. You guys are so <laughs> cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take good care. Bye.
Yeah, Thank have you. a great day and a great weekend. You too. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye, guys. Signing <laughs> off from California. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.